do a rates of change application style question here. Uh, this one's a pretty standard one. Uh, so somebody heats up some liquid to 80 degrees Celsius and then they take it off the stove and it starts cooling down. Um, this style of question, it's called a Newton's cooling um, question. Now they've, they haven't called it a Newton's cooling question, but it is. Uh, they've given us a formula though for how fast the liquid is cooling, or sorry, what the temperature is at any given time. All right, so if I put in a time there, I'll find out how hot the thing is at that time. Now it says, find the rate of change of temperature with respect to time when the temperature is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, so it's a rate of change style question, so I've got to find the rate at which the temperature is changing. That's the derivative of the temperature function. So the rate at which temperature with respect to time is changing is equal to the derivative of that. So the derivative of 20 is just zero goes away. The derivative of this next bit, negative 0.3 times 60 is negative 18, and then e to the negative 0.3t. All right, so that is my rate of change formula. So I should be able to use my rate of change formula to find out the rate of change of temperature with respect to time when capital T is equal to 30. That's a problem because my rate of change formula doesn't have capital T in it. It only has time, not temperature. So I need to know, I need to know what the time is when the temperature is equal to 30. So to do that, I'm gonna to have to sub 30 into the original equation to find out the time. So uh, sub t equals 30 into t formula. All right, so it's 30 equals 20 plus 60 e to the negative 0 0.3 t. And I'm gonna to have to solve that in some way. Uh, 30 minus 20 is 10, so that's 10 equals 60 e to the negative 0 0.3 t. Um, 10 divided by 60 is 1 over 6 e to the negative 0 0.3 t. Uh, and then I can sort of rearrange that. Uh, ln 1 6th negative 0 0.3 t. t is ln 1 on 6 divided by negative 0 0.3. And that should give me a time that makes some sort of sense. So there is our 5.97. So let's just recap what I've done there. Um, I want to find the rate of change of temperature with respect to time when t, the temperature, is equal to 30. All of my work in red here was to find out what time uh, the temperature was 30 and the time is 5.97 minutes. Now that I can, now that I've got that, I can sub 5.97 for T time into um, my rate of change formula with respect to T. All right, so now I have the derivative of uh, temperature with respect to time is equal to negative 18 e to the negative 0 0.3 times time 5.97. Typing that into a calculator should just give us a pretty straightforward answer. That gives me a rate of change of negative 3. What units? Uh, it's changing at negative 3 degrees Celsius per minute. All right, so a rate is always going to be something like that, something per something. All right, so uh, the other, that was part A. The other bit actually is a, is a little bit maybe easier. Find out when the temperature is changing at a rate of negative four degrees per minute. Uh, at a rate of, that's probably better. Okay, so now it's just a, a matter of subbing negative four degrees per minute in for DTDT. So uh, DT DT or let DT DT equal negative four. So it's going to be negative four equals uh, negative eighteen e to the negative zero point three t. 
and we try to find out what that t value is. And so now it's just a matter of rearranging negative 4 divided by negative 18 uh, is e to the negative 0 0.3 t. Um, that's the same as 2 over 9. Um, e to the negative 0 0.3 t. And now I'm just going to write that in, um, in log form. ln 2 over 9 uh, is negative 0 0.3 t. And t equals ln 2 over 9 divided by negative 0 0.3. And calculator, and I should get an answer for that one. That ends up with a time of 5.0. One. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, at time 5.01, uh, the rate of change, the temperature, is dropping at a rate of 4 degrees per minute. Uh, okay, <clears throat> that is our full rates of change application style question. Now, as with most applications, I cannot run through every single version of how a question might be asked here. Uh, but you've got to understand that you've got an initial equation, you've got the rate of change uh, equation, and then you've just got to decide what makes sense to sub in for what variable.